So here's another example about your load capacity restrictions. This is one of the Harbor Freight trailers that had some upgrades, okay? Uh, he went with a weld build like a lot of us do. Uh, here you can see the reinforcements all around here. Yeah, he did what's common, okay? I'm not the first guy to do it this way. Where he bolted, then welded it. Went with all the reinforcements here. Um, went with the reinforcement down here. Very similar to the Ansar Palace reinforcement theory. But here's where things went wrong. Uh, here you can see that the original frame, he had a frame buckle on this. And, uh, or the bolt tear out. And then the framing buckled, the axle didn't fail. And then over here, uh, you can see where we had uh, uh, the frame buckled and, the, and stuff gave way. Um, and, and this is a food cart. We had a water tank and a water heater up front with storage up front where they kind of thought by keeping this on more or less a 4x8 format, that they weren't going to uh, run into this problem, especially if they're just moving it around the city. And you can see there was no failure at the axle, but, you know, the frame ran into a problem. Uh, this is where i got to be cautious with my builds too, but, but the other thing is, of course, uh, not overloading these things. And, yeah, you want your tongue weight heavy and your load weight maybe a little forward, but... You know, there's limits to how far you want to go if you're not going to actually reinforce the frame. And, you know, this is one of those ones where, you know, we would have thought that maybe his reinforcement on the actual box, because that had a wooden frame, would have helped. But, you know, there's some weak points in some of these things, and that's one of the things you got to look out for.